pretty and so cute. So aggressive. They are aggressive. It looks like the boat that was on its way here just ran aground, you guys. There's the ray checking Emily out. We don't have any food. We have some friends on the way. Check it out, Amanda. Show everybody the sharks that are coming. We got some sharks visiting us. Welcome to Honeymoon Harbor. Okay, I was going to say welcome to today's video, but today's video we are at Honeymoon Harbor. Now, you guys have ever seen those viral pictures on the internet of stingrays like hugging people? That's where we are. That is where we are. So, so we've today, never been here. We've never been here. We found it. <laughs> we found it on our own. With satellite maps, Google Maps, and the name our, of the place. And our charts and the name of it. So we figured it all out with some... Google images. Yes, yes. Pretty much. All right, so we are at Honeymoon Harbor, which is just off of Bimini. If you guys are new here, we are spending a week in Bimini. So this is our Honeymoon Harbor episode. We're going to be swimming with stingrays and sharks. sharks. My name's Amanda. My name is Emily. And welcome, welcome to, to our channel, Gale Force, Force Twins. get in the water with these stingrays and sharks and get lots of cool footage for you guys. We're gonna go explore the island and see how beautiful it is here in Bimini. But what we're also gonna do at the end of this video is we're gonna show you guys how to get here because we figured out for the first time kind of using the knowledge that we had and knowledge that we researched. And you know, it was, it was kind of complicated. So you know what, let's make it easier for everyone else. We will show you how to do that. But first, let's go enjoy the island. Oh my goodness. It's like they know we're here. How many stingrays can we count? Plus, we got some sharks visiting us. So we've got one ray, one nurse shark, two rays, three rays, four rays, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's endless. Emily, are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> Let's go say hello to these rays. Come on, guys. All right, doing the stingrays. Here we are. Okay. Here we are, guys. They are clearly curious. Everywhere. They think we have food. A little fun fact, you guys. These are southern rays. Now, there's a lot of different species of rays. There's eagle rays, which are like those really big ones with the pointy nose. There's manta rays, which are the ones you see in Hawaii that have the, the rounded area mouth. here. Mouth, yeah. mouth, jaw area. There's southern rays, which are these, and they're very like triangular shaped. And there's cow nose one. rays. Here comes a ray. Look at how close. He's going to touch us. That's like terrifying. You know, like, no, no, just stand, just stand where you are. There we go. Here they come, coming to check us out, and there they go down the beach. Here's one right at my feet right now. Coming up to Emily. There it goes. Goodbye, Mr. A. Goodbye, Mr. A. One, two, three, number three. Look at all those rays, that's insane. They're obviously very used to people. I believe over there, there is a little charter going on, a local charter that some people took to come here. So now that we're here and we saw some of the rays, which I think we'll look at a little bit more, let's go explore the island, shall we, Amanda? Yeah. Let's go. All right, so if you guys look ahead, there's obvious that there's been people here. Okay, so now we're kind of on like a little, what is this called, peninsula? We're kind of standing on a little bit of a peninsula and with the way that the wind's blowing, the side that the boat's on, which is like the deeper water, which is the way we had to come to get here, the waves are breaking because it's the, the windy side, the deep side, and the waves are breaking. But if you look over here, it's so much calmer. I mean, just look at how calm that is, you guys. 
So I think we should go to the calmer water and try and see some rays in the calmer water. So we have this little cove over here. It's so pretty and so cute. So just follow me down this peninsula of a beach into the cove and we're gonna see what we can find. The good news is if you guys want to come here and you don't come here by boat, there are definitely ways to get here. There's little charters. We saw signs when we were actually in Bimini on land driving golf cart around that said stingrays. So I'm sure you guys can figure it out if you don't want to come here by boat. But we brought some food. Some food for the, some shrimpies for the stingrays and the nurse sharks. So let's, let's see if we can attract them over here. Yes. Oh, here comes our first ray right over here. And it looks like we've got some calm water. So this is kind of like, here he comes, coming in hot. We got a little guy though, coming around, coming around. Here he is, comes right up to me. And there he goes. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> They're so aggressive. They are aggressive. Whoa, holy cow, holy cow. This guy is looking for a snack. He's bumping me. I don't have a snack, Mr. Ray. I do not have a snack. We have some friends on the way. Check it out, Amanda. Show everybody the sharks that are coming. The nurse sharks are coming to join us on the calm side of the island of the peninsula. We got one little nurse shark right there. I wouldn't call that a little. And to my right, whoa, there's another one there. Looks like there's one over there. So these guys are starting to come in. They want to check out what's going on over here. Say hello to the stingray friends and say hello to us. and he just he just took the shrimp before the stingray could get to it. <laughs> right Amanda, those little schoolmasters oh, yeah, they aren't are. they? Got some schoolmaster snappers hanging out around here. There's a little schoolmaster, there he is, swimming around. Okay, we were just about to walk to the other side because it's pretty obvious that they're, quotes, trained. That must be where they normally get fed on the other side, but I just saw there's a big, I guess, it would, I don't know if it's a school, there's a big group of rays coming our way right now. So we got our little Ray that keeps hanging out with us. We should name him because he won't go away. And then we've got a big group over there on the rocks. Let's see if they actually decide to come to this beach. But I see one, two, three, four, five. And if we round the corner, there's a whole other holy cow that just touched me. I wasn't looking down. <laughs> okay, I wasn't ready for that. But here they come. All the rays are coming over to join us. Come on, rays. Come to the calm side of the island. This is where we want to hang out with you. Amanda, we did it! We did it! We got the rays to come hang out with us! Alright. Oh my god, look at them! Look at them! There they are! And it looks like we've got some other boaters coming in, so here we go. Oh. This guy's coming in hot. He wants a snack. I don't have a snack on me, buddy. But look at them. Here they come. Look at all of them. Here we go. This is a big guy. Ha ha ha, you're kind of scary looking. I don't have food, you can go away. You can leave me alone, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. It looks like the boat that was on its way here just ran aground, you guys. We're gonna go back to the windy part of the peninsula because this boat that just came in is kind of blasting some music and we kind of stole our spot, to be honest. So we're gonna go back and create a new spot and hang out with some different rays. It's so important to be so cautious and to educate yourself before you go to new places so you don't run aground like they just did. Thankfully they got up and off the rocks pretty quickly but they definitely hit them. So definitely be careful. We will show you guys how we got here in a 39 Invincible but even then when you guys watch this do your own research as well. Please don't only take what we say and especially if, a hurricane and especially if there's hurricanes or storms can change the st structure of the seafloor. 
So we're gonna walk back to the boat. It's about what, like 30, 30 feet of walk, 30 foot walk. The 30 foot walk, but the water gets deep and we gotta- The water gets deep and, oh man, it's gonna be scary. Let's go. Lots of raisin sharks, so we gotta do the stingray shuffle. Doing the stingray shuffle. You probably could honestly be barefoot, guys, if you wanted to, but I am wearing some like water shoes just so that way I can easily shuffle my feet without like stubbing my toe on rocks. Right. There's a ray Thanks. coming in hot on our left side. Thanks, Amanda, for the warning. There's the ray checking Emily out. We don't have any food. I'm gonna go in the water. Holy crap. Go away, go away, go away. If you guys want to look over there, you can see that there are some, they're a little bit smaller boats, but there are some boats that took what you could say is the more shallow way in. However, we did see one boat kind of run aground, like we said. So we took the deep way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our anchor and we're gonna drive out a little bit, get to some deeper water where we can relax. And then we're gonna show you guys how we got here. Okay, everyone, here is the island of Bimini. This strip, this outside strip here, right up here is where we're staying. And on the south side over here is where the Bimini Big Game Club is. And then over on this section of Bimini, it's called South Bimini, is where, what is it called, Amanda? Bimini Sands. Bimini Sands is over here. So the channel is out here. And I guess what I will do is I will walk you guys to Honeymoon Harbor. So from far out, you guys can see the boat right there. And you can see we're here. So I'm going to just do it to the to the channel roughly and hit go to for you guys to see. It is 9.38 miles away. So I will undo that just so you guys can see it better. Here is the channel we left out on. And if we zoom in over here, you guys can see some, some squigglies and some donuts that we were doing on this boat. And I am just going to work our way towards Honeymoon Harbor. We stayed on Oceanside. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut across where it's deep and do the inside. So we stayed on Oceanside to here, and I'll zoom in for you guys. Now, we originally started to come in this way, and we instantly realized, you know what, that's not the best way to do it because it's shallow. So maybe if you have a 20-foot boat, you could do it. Again, don't take our word for it, guys. Do your own research. So you can see we came in only about halfway, and we were like, yeah, let's not do that. So we turned around, and we went in where it's all deep. It's much deeper here. You can see that. And then over here is where we anchored, right up here. And from land, we were able to see some other boats there. We actually saw a dock there, which I believe some of the dive boats dock at. But this is where we were hanging out with the stingrays. That was a bit of a general explanation about how we got here. Guys, look at satellite maps. Look at your Garmin or your Furunos or whatever machines you have. Look up Navionics on your phone. Look at your charts. Plot it out yourself. Know the depth of the water and the draft of your boat and figure it out. I have faith in all of you. You guys can do it. We were able to do it. You guys can do it. We hope you guys, if you ever make it over here, you make an effort to come here. It was really fun. Now on the internet, you'll probably see quite a bit of content of people swimming like waist deep and shoulder deep with these stingrays and sharks. By all means, if that's you, go right on ahead. I personally, even though they're used to people, would rather keep it, you know, a little bit knee deep. Knee deep. Personally, that's for me. Um, but I hope you guys have fun. We want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.